the supermarket? What do we need? Juice, eggs, eggs, and tampons. What was that? Tampons. I'm just gonna write T. I don't know what that means. Need a price check on organic? No, that's not necessary. Daughter. Yeah, two. Same boat, two sons. It's nice meeting you, Sandy with two sons. I'm interested. Do you have a favorite Gary Marshall film? Absolutely. Yeah. What is it? Nothing in Common. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah that, that's that a good literally choice. was the the. I would say the, the, the my favorite of his. Yeah, that and one of the reasons I took this. It like mm. you know was yeah I love that movie. I, I, what it, is it about that movie that sort of appeals to you? I mean, I, I think I caught it at the right time. There's something about that that like somewhere between '82 and '88, mm -hmm. anything that was on cable, I just was <laughs> it just formed me in a big way. I've just sort of noticed throughout my throughout my life, whether it be Beverly Hills Cop or or, or you know. Um, number of Chevy Chase movies, Fletch, and like, and, and sure. nothing in common. But I think looking back on it now, I really loved knowing the the, the actor and not paying attention to this stuff, not really ingesting this as like a mm -hmm. twelve year old, fifteen year old, you know, twelve year old, uh, fourteen year old kid um, about Tom Hanks. But I knew him from you know Bosom Buddies, which I loved, yeah. and then you know Uncle Ned, which was a great part for him mm -hmm. on Family Ties. But then also Splash and Bachelor Party, a movie I probably wasn't supposed to be able to see, <laughs> but you know, thank, thank goodness for HBO in the early days of cable. Uh, and then this was the first movie that that kind of you know the, where he's going through something that then you know brought us into like him doing stuff like Big and Punchline mm -hmm. and eventually you know all the amazing movies he's done since so there was something about that that I really responded to that I always I loved this guy as just like uh, someone that made me laugh and now he was making me feel things I don't I don't <laughs> think I had that perspective then but I, I mean it strikes me this movie sort of balances that same sort of thing with comedy and drama how do you and Gary on set sort of juggle this sort of you know this tone for the performance? not too dissimilar I'll be honest <laughs> with you like it, it one of the nice things about doing oh I will say this as far as like full-on movie geekdom mm -hmm. when I did when we did horrible bosses I showed Seth Gordon uh, I don't know if you've seen that movie, but you know you introduce the the three characters. You know Bateman's having a hard time at his job. Charlie's yeah. having a hard time at his job, and then you in, meet my character, mm. and he loves his job. And the thing that I showed Seth Gordon, our director of the first film, I was like, I'd love for my opening to be like the opening of Nothing in Common. And we watched <laughs> it because when you watch Tom Hanks go into his job, he works in an ad agency uh -huh. in Chicago. He he's just making jokes with everybody. He loves everybody. He's it's I like, never noticed that. That's right. Yeah. And that's exact. We did. That's exactly what's happening at the beginning of, of Horrible <laughs> Bosses. So there, there's like a little um you know for for our podcast that we're doing here. Um, yeah, the question that you just... Oh, Tone, so Gary, yeah. we can talk about something very sincere about family or like mm -hmm. life in general and then make jokes. Like it's one of those great kind of relationship, relationships that I, I I've, didn't even realize I was... Uh, I always sought out in my mm -hmm. real life of people that can talk about something and then just branch off to do a joke place and then <laughs> come right back to the... You know, and, and you know, take these little exit ramps on the highway of a conversation and then come right back. And we just did it. He just came in to say hi and... and we can just do that. It's about like the work. I can ask him about you know something about nothing in common sure. or, or or happy days or, or running his own <laughs> theater or softball or his basketball days, anything, and then make a joke about it. Then him laugh or me laugh. Him what was the best joke. story Gary told you? Oh man, I mean there's I mean there's a ton. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I'm even allowed to give give him away. You know I think I think everybody should get the opportunity to take the opportunity to, to meet him themselves and get one because he's he's one of the best storytellers I've I've known. Um, but I mean, yeah. I mean, a few come to mind, but again, it might be those are mine. Those are from me. Yes, you know. Uh, but there's there's there, there's uh, uh, a, a couple. <laughs> the, uh, not body or anything, but you know, like inside inside baseball. Um, but but yeah, he's he's one of those guys that you really can just, you know. I I hope to be that 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 sharp and that giving mm. and that and that joyful when when you know I'm his age, which is. I mean, he's he's all, he's two years away from being two hundred years old. <laughs> Thank That's you so much. Amazing. <laughs>